Hargis Industries and going to discuss about grouping and grouping ID function in Oracle database. So and I'm using Toad for Oracle and currently working on Scott schema. So about the grouping function, so it is used on single column here. So gr grouping function or uh, used in single column, whereas the column list for grouping ID. So we are using grouping ID with the multiple columns and must match with grouping by column list. So this is the ad here for grouping. So we can give only single column and inside grouping ID, we can give multiple columns. So ad here, this is the definition grouping ID indi grouping indicate whether the column in a group list aggregator or not. So grouping return one for aggregator, zero for not aggregated. And here grouping ID concatenates all grouping function and perform binary to decimal conversion and return the equal valid integer. So this is the things about to grouping and grouping ID. So let's understand by example. So add here I'm going to take the table EMP. Now here going to write the query. So first add here going to use select a statement. So select first going to select EMP number here after DPT number. Next job and here going to do the sum on cell column. And let's give alias total. And here after going to use first grouping. So add here grouping EMP number. So first column make making the group on EMP number. And let's give alias as E underscore EMP number. And here after let's write grouping. And here next DPT number. And here going to give the alias as D underscore DEPT number. And here after grouping or job. And here give the alias J underscore job. Now or from EMP table and here group by and going to use rollup function. So about the rollup function I already discussed. So add here going to pass EMP number DPT number EMP number here after DPT number next job column and uh, so this is the first query by using grouping function. So let's uh, execute this query and check. So see add here. So I used add here grouping function. So about the grouping function. So return one for aggregator. So when that font. So there are no any EMP number, DPT number, job. So values not null. So that it's a not a aggregated value is coming. But add here. Inside job, there is a oh, here you get null value so that it return one. So this is the column job is the aggregated. Now here DPT number and jobs null value so that it's return one one. So this is the first example. Now here after I wanna do I wanna do some modification like I wanna concatenate zero 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 like. Uh, Add your EMP number, DPT number, and job. So this column values I'm gonna calculate. So first is 0, 0, 3, 3 times 0. Next is 0, 0, 1. So I'm gonna do the concatenation. So for this, let's copy this query and do some modification. So add here. Uh, so we are going to use a plus operator to concatenate. So giving at your plus now here plus now here auto going to give plus here now if I execute this query so let's see what output I'm getting 
So see at here when I trying to concatenate but at here it's a adding. So 0 3 times so first 0 it's a displaying and here or this is 0 0 1 so it's adding 1 and here 0 1 1 so getting the output 2. So this is my not requirement. So for this so at here plus operator doing addition not concatenation. So first I am going to make this one in bracket after that trying to concatenate. So for this I am going to use cost function. So what the cost function I already discussed in my previous video. So please watch. So add here cost function and here as here going to use varchar. So giving the size 1. Here after plus no need to change here cost function again and here or uh, grouping dpt number and here as again where cat and giving the size 1 and here one more cost function going to use for job column so add your cost and uh, here as where cat one the size one and uh, here after so this is for a bracket for this one and this is and we need to give bracket for this one so at here let's give the bracket here also and here one more bracket required so this is the uh, bracket and here after, let's give meaningful or uh, alias so at here giving the alias so for this I am giving the alias uh, as GRP. Okay. Now, here after, if you execute, so see at here, uh, again at here, I am not getting the expected output by using as varchar. So, I am going to use at here double pipeline for concatenation. So, let's execute. So uh, this time getting the expected output. So at here, this is non-aggregated column, so that it's a GRP, it's a display three times here, and here this two are non-aggregated column. Job is the aggregated column. So at here zero zero one, it's a display. So this is about to uh, grouping function. Now let's copy, and here after I'm going to uh, include grouping ID function. So at here. GRP. Now here after let's use grouping ID. Grouping underscore ID. So this is also a building function. So first I'm going to pass EMP number next to DPT number and here after job column. And here let's give alias GRP ID. Now if you execute to this key, so let's see the difference. So at here or uh, grouping, so it's a uh, concatenated three columns and returning this values, but grouping ID. So it to uh, at here zero. So first there is only zero, so zero it's a uh, displaying here. So this is uh, uh, zero zero one, it's a uh, displaying one, and here zero one one. So this is the binary format and this is the decimal format. So if you or do or conversion or decimal to binary, so you will get the 0, 1, 1 output. So let's uh, see how. So add here, going to open one page. So add here, uh, going to give, uh, let's see the output. Uh, there is a uh, 3 here after, uh, one value is 7. So first to uh, 3. So there is 3. So going to this is the decimal. So I am going to convert into binary. So we need to divide by 2. So it divide by 1 times and here remainder come 1. And here. So you have to count from bottom. So this is the value I am getting 1. Now if you convert or 0, you can keep 0 many times as you wanted. So at here 0, 1, 1, it's the output here. So for 3 or 0. 1 1 and here after 4 7 
So seven add here. This is the decimal. So going to convert into binary. So we need to divide by or two. So it divide by three times. Remainder come one and here two or divide by three divide by one times. So remainder come one. So if you count from bottom, so the value come triple one. So that here it's a display triple one. So this is the binary format here. This is the decimal format. So this is the things about to add here grouping ID and grouping function in Oracle. Now here after I'm going to copy this line and here so not going to copy this line or oh, going to copy this line. And uh, here after, let's paste it down. And here after, uh, let's remove this part. So going to use grouping ID. Grouping ID. And here after, passing EMP number. And here, DPT number. And here, job column. And let's give the meaningful alias GRT ID. Now if you add square to this query. So here execute this query. So see add here, this is the output that I'm getting. So if you know oh, this is not in order. So GRT ID is the random value. So 0, 1, 1, this is not in order. So if you want, then here you can convert into order. So give order by order by and order by g r p i d now if you execute so this is the zero first here after one now next it's a display three and seven now if you want to uh, filter g r p i d three seven you can also do that here so for this we we need to write at your simplest query so here, let's copy that one. So here, uh, order by, it's not required. Now here, after going to use having, having class and uh, grouping. So we need to copy this one. Having, here after grouping ID. So I'm going to filter 1. So GRP ID, the value is 1. So I'm going to display. So give add here 1. So see add here GRP ID. Oh, there only one value. It's a display. If you want to oh, filter only 3. So you can also do that. So see add here. It's a GRP ID 3. It's a display. So see add here when I given GRP ID 3. So DPT number and job has the null values. And when I give add here GRP ID or oh, add here 7 values, so see add here it's uh, displaying 7 and there is only total. That means EMP number, DPT number, job has the null values. So this is a uh, displaying grand total of the values. Now here after if you want to uh, find out 1, so you can also do that. So here there is no any columns. So, okay, job columns or null add here. And here, EMP number, DPT number has values. So, these are the things about to grouping and grouping ID. So, one time going to repeat. So, grouping indicate whether the column in a group list aggregated or not. So, if return 1, so that means it's aggregated. So, if you return add here, this value is the job. So, if this is aggregated column. And if return 0, so that means it's not an aggregated. And grouping ID concatenate all grouping function perform binary to decimal cost calculation. And return equivalent. So grouping ID, we can pass only one column. And with grouping, uh, grouping we can pass only one column. And with grouping ID, we can pass multiple columns. So this is the difference at here, grouping and grouping ID. Yeah. So let's uh, execute this query. So see at here, it's a grouping ID return. So you can combine 
multiple columns uh, by using grouping ID here that return boundary values but grouping ID uh, that return decimal value so this all values are same triple zero equal to zero uh, double zero one equal to one and zero one one so this is in binary so if you convert it to decimal so you get three so i hope that this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next video thank you